Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, that's salty water. Wow. What's up, Internet? Kern 1776 here with another video for you. I got a really cool product in the mail the other day, and I've really been racking my brain on how to properly test this thing. What can I do to really verify if this product works? Thought about it for a few days, and I think I got it figured out. We're going to my cousin's house. My cousin has a really cool hobby that I think will be perfect for testing out this product, or he has equipment that can help verify if this product works. So, we're headed to my cousin's house. We've got about a 35, 40 minute ride ahead of us, and uh, we're gonna test this thing out, see if it does what it says it does, yeehaw. And if it does, <laughs> it will be awesome. All right, so, I'm at my cousin's house. My cousin's right there, Chris. What's up? And I told you in the opener that he's got a hobby that I think be perfect for testing what we're doing. So his hobby is saltwater reef tanks. He's been working on this one. This is kind of a new setup he's got. So I've tested a lot of water filters. In every single video, people always ask in the comments, well, what about salt water? Will it do salt water? And typically the answer is no, it won't do salt water. Because there's a lot of process that goes on with salt water to do it right. I mean, you got desalination equipment and all sorts of stuff. But as far as like something to have in your backpack or have with you, you know, in your survival kit to do salt water, there's really nothing out there. Except for these guys right here says seal water filter. So this claims that it removes more than 93% of salt from seawater. Well, we got a bunch of seawater over there. <laughs> so Chris is looking right now through this thing to test to tell him the salt content. So I was at the beach earlier this week and I was gonna do this at the beach, but I was thinking, I was like, man, how can I do this where I can really show and prove if it works or not, other than me just saying, yeah, I don't taste any salt. Then I thought, ah, my cuz is into saltwater reef tanks. Surely he's got a way to test salt content, which he does. Here's his reef tank. He's got all the all the stuff, guys. I can't tell you what it all is, but he makes his own RO water and gets all the salt content exactly what it needs to be for basically mimic the ocean for his reef tank. So this is set up at 1.025 saltwater uh, specific gravity. So this right. Is so that's what perfect ocean water should be. Yep. All right. So so what he's doing now is he's testing the salt content of this water that he got out of that tank over there. He looks through there. I used to use a device like that for testing the percentage of glycol and different chemicals I had in my chilled water systems when I did chiller work. It's got a, I don't know, let me see if, if you can maybe. You're gonna have to get some. We can see in here. Okay. All right, there we go. So you see that, the blue and white separation there? So we're looking at 1.025 salinity is what we're reading. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna get a bucket of that water. We'll go through what we gotta do to use this, which we have to put it in the water. And it says it can take up to eight hours. So we're just going, I don't know, watch TV, something. I don't know, we'll do something. <laughs> but, well, we gotta let this sit. It uses reverse osmosis to desalinate and purify the water so you can drink it. And then we're gonna test the water afterwards to see how much salt was removed in comparison to our baseline, which is 1.025, 1.025. Put that on the screen. All right, 
So what we're also going to do, I don't know if this will do anything. So it says you can use this for fresh water or salt water. It blocks out bacteria, viruses, cysts. The package makes one liter from salt water and 1.8 liters from fresh water. There's four filters in this packet. Uh, it doesn't say anything about hardness, but we're going to do, we're going to test the water for hardness anyway, just so we can maybe see if it does a difference. So this is a TDS meter. Got a TDS meter here. So what this does is, like, do some of y'all live in homes where you get like that, what is it, milky white staining or whatever on your shower calcium. window? It's because it's, it's, your water's really hard. It's got a lot of calcium and minerals in it. This reads what that is. And obviously in Chris's system right here, the water hardness needs to be zero, right? Non-existent. That's why he, he makes his RO water before he adds the, the salt mixture to it. Just curious what it'll be. So he's filling up this container with the salt water now out of his salt water tank over there. And that's what we're going to drop our, our filter system into. Let's try this right here real quick. Check the TDS. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be very high. I could take it because it's got salt content. Right. Yeah, see, it's over. See? So it's just showing red outside of scale 100 and uh, it's just nasty 300, wow. 362 ppm that's terrible <laughs> terrible yeah so because it's salt water obviously the tds numbers are, are really high right so here we go here's the packet open it up so why would you need something like this so some people carry stuff like this on on their boats and stuff like that for when uh, when they're out, you know, and they don't have a desalinator on their boat or something like that. And God forbid something happens, you get stranded out there where you can't really drink the salt water, right? Because it's just going to dehydrate you worse than usual. So you need a way to make that water drinkable. And because everybody asks, can it do salt water? We're going to try one that says it can. What you have here in the packet, what you get, here's a little packet, you get four. Looks like we got four of these in here. And this is a grape flavor, so it's supposed to taste like grape drink. All right, here's your good balance here. This is your 120 ppm. Okay, so the water before he makes it salt water is what, 20? 20, yes, yeah, if I can Is 20 ppm. There you can see. So that's before 20 ppm. Um, Which tells me I need to change my filters. <laughs> before he adds the salt mixture to it. So now it's 300 and whatever it was because of the salt. So, all right, here's our packet. So it comes with four, it comes with straws. So this fills up with water. The water goes through the membrane on the outside and collects inside of this. So it's like a Capri Sun. You take a straw, you poke through it and you drink it. And then it comes with this little bag right here that you can put it in if you're on the beach or if you're in a real sandy or nasty environment it'll at least help sand and everything not to get all over. So we're just gonna drop this in to this bucket of salt water, just like that. And we're gonna wait. <laughs> we're gonna wait. So the water is going to permeate into that package and the inside of that package is supposed to fill up with drinkable water. So what we're gonna do when we're done, when this is ready to be pulled, we will pour it out into a glass or something and then we'll use the measurement devices to test the hardness and we'll test the salt level. And then of course we'll taste test it too. So we'll be back in a little while. So real quick, just so that I'm clear on this, it says here there's uh, 210 calories in this, 51 grams of carbs, 17 grams of sugars, and it naturally is going to have 225 milligrams of sodium. So it's not going to completely take the salt out, which you don't want it to completely because we need some for electrolytes, right? It's not going to completely remove the salt because technically it has 225 milligrams of sodium in it anyway but it says it removes more than 93% of salt from seawater. Yeah, don't drink seawater because you'll dehydrate super quick if you do. But we're gonna give that some time and we'll be back, give it a little test, y'all. And it's made in the USA, so that's yeehaw too. <laughs> what do you got there? That's your RO water. 
So this is the very, very. That's the 20 ppm TDS. Clean, low hardness water right here. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing in it. Straight up water. It's like pure water. All right, we're going to find a movie to watch on TV or something. <laughs> <laughs>
the blue line is pretty much exactly where it was before, 1.025. To nothing. Drinkable water from salt water. Freaking awesome. I dig it. So now you can filter seawater, also blocks out bacteria, viruses, cysts, etc., etc. And uh, in a small form factor, there's three more in here. Also works on fresh water. So there you go. Now you guys have something that'll filter salt water. Freaking awesome. So. And it tastes good too. Like you, I could drink that. If I had to drink that. It tastes just like grape juice. That's like a grape juice. Kind of like a grape, a grape Gatorade. So, all right. That's great. Love y'all mean it. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time with another product test, y'all. We're gonna um, finish drinking some desalted water. <laughs>